It's official. Pop star and Broadway vet Nick Jonas will follow Daniel Radcliffe and Glee's Darren Chris in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. We're at Sardis to get the scoop on this exciting Broadway casting news. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce J. Pierpont Finch III, Nick Jonas. So does this feel like a homecoming for you? A bit like a homecoming. Uh, it's been a while. The last time I was in this room was with Reba McIntyre when she was getting her picture on the wall. and um, I was a lot younger then, but it's a pleasure to be back and, and to think that I'll be hitting the Broadway stage again will be amazing. I um, had a couple theater experiences this past year and, and this year, and both were not here in New York, not on a Broadway stage. And so to come back and to do uh, Broadway shows is going to be amazing. So this is the ultimate Broadway role. Why Nick Jonas? Because he's brilliantly talented actor, singer, dancer, and this production's J. Pierpont Finch has to be a triple threat. They have to act, they have to sing, and they have to dance. Uh, and um, not every role demands all of that. And uh, so, uh, yeah, you have to be in tip-top shape in all three departments, so he is. I think the thing that I love most about How to Succeed is, is uh, Finch's drive. And, you know, the fact that he's, he's very driven, but he's also very goofy. And it's, it's an amazing opportunity for an actor to try to capture both emotions and both um, kind of objectives. And Rob said him something amazing before. He's talking about how he jumps and then figures out how he's going to land halfway down. And that's exactly uh, how I see the role, too. And I'm looking forward to working with him on, on really finding that. People may not realize that he does have an extensive Broadway background, right? Oh, absolutely. Well, he's, a, he's a veteran. I mean, he's, he's been on the boards many, many times, a lot more than a lot of people that do Broadway shows. So that's, that's fascinating. He understands eight shows a week. He understands the camaraderie of the theater. He understands the idea that other people are counting on you and you're counting on them for, for help and for support out there when you're out there. So I think, I think it's thrilling. How do you feel about replacing Daniel Radcliffe in this part? Uh, it, you know, it's, it's overwhelming. He's doing such an amazing job and uh, really has created such an incredible reputation for himself here in the theater community. Um, and, you know, I'll be, I'll be coming in just after Darren Chris does his three-week run, which will, be, which will be great. And I've met him a few times. He's a great guy, and I'm sure he'll do an amazing job. I do think it is something about the combination of the traditional musical theater form of it, an old-fashioned musical comedy with contemporary energy that Dan brings, that the younger cast brings, that hopefully the staging brings. That was the idea, and something about the synergy of the two of them together, the old and the new, has caused a certain energy around it. What's more challenging, doing a rock concert before an audience of screaming girls or taking the stage on Broadway? I'd say they're two different to compare. Um, I, I do love what I do with my brothers, and, and um, we're looking forward to, to one day coming back together and, and, and performing together again um, when the time is right. Uh, but to take on this theater role, uh, to really uh, you know, come here and move my whole world here to New York to do this will, will be a pleasure, and it will be perfect for the season of my life that I'm in. And so uh, I'm looking forward to it. We'll, we'll see how it goes.